is completely different because instead of just one Beyblade, we have two, right? But it's not just the Beyblades. We have an entire set. We have the Omega customized set. So, first, I'll show off this. So, this, um, this customized pack contains three tips in one Omega Core. See over here, we have center. This driver, when launched, will instantly take the center. So, it kind of looks like orbit to me. But, I did it based on how it, how it performs, right? The next one is gear. This driver has a free-spinning gear and a free-spinning um, cyan plate. Great for attack. Then, we, we have this driver. It, it, it's called Reboot, Ultimate Reboot. But, minus the fact that it has the reboot ability. I know, I mean, I haven't been able to uh, make Lego Bases, um, um, I haven't been able to make his, his reboot driver or generate driver yet, but I will, I will attempt it one day with my slash driver already using the only, the only stick I, Lego stick I have. Anyways, but this does perform pretty well. Then we have this, the Omega Core. This is a lot different from the, from all, from the other Beyblades. So let me get one. Let me get Galaxy Uranus. So. This is Galaxy Uranus's core. Pretty small. Right? This one, though, however, is way bigger. Right? So let me get another one. Another core. Okay. We'll do Colossal. Um... Colossal Nemesis. As you can see, these are two standard cores, right? This one, however, so the difference between these is that this one's a lot heavier. See, these parts over here have gaps in them, like really huge gaps, right? So, they don't provide as much weight as I would like them to. But, Turns out, using three of these, or any amount you want of these, provides a lot of weight, since there are no, op like, there's not a lot of open areas, a lot of open spaces. <clears throat> Follow along with that, so I have three of them stacked on top of each other. Then, I have this 2x4 plate, along with this 2x4 tile. <clears throat> Maximizing the weight. So, that was the first part of this set. Now, I'll move on to the, um, the Beyblades. Yes, okay. So, <clears throat> the first one, his name is Bleed Devilos. Right? So, it has four gigantic blades, has rubber at the bottom, so its full combo is Devilos, Blade, Three, and Zephyr Rubber. So, the, the thing about this chip is that it's a lot heavier than the other ones. Well, no, I wouldn't say a lot heavier. Just a tiny bit heavier. Because of the 2x2 two two plate underneath this 2x2 two two center stud. So let me put the bit together. There we go. We have Blade Devilos. So the second Beyblade is Volcano Hydrax. Um, this bay is um, one of the biggest ones. I'm, it weighs a lot more than than um, Blade, right? So its full combo is Hydrax Volcano. Um, four, and, um, around, and 
a free spinning stud driver. I'm not, I haven't said an actual name on this one yet. So I'm just gonna call it free spinning stud until I could figure out a name. This chip is a bit different. It has these two golden points, right? Which add a tiny bit more weight to the, to the bay. It's like on the outer areas. The Omega Core is four. The difference now between the regular between these between this one is it has a two by two on top of it along with this part so it weighs a, uh, a bit more so they're close to being equal weight so let me just assemble the bay and there we have it Volcano Hydrax. Now for the final part of the set is the Omega LR Ripcord Launcher. This is may look like a regular sparking launcher, but it's just a ripcord launcher, right? It does have that free spinning plate on it, and it also has this extra part over here, which I don't know why I added it, but like it tends to like make the launch a lot stronger and it sort of makes the free spinning thing stop a lot quicker right and then for the, how to change it to the spin direction is just take out the ripcord flip out the launch flip the launcher around flip the ripcord like this and then just put the ripcord back in simple as that another another unique thing about this launcher is it has this so if you're launching a Beyblade, like Sparking Production Ares, you'll be able to do that because my Beyblades, most of my Beyblades anyways, require a tip, um, have like the studs, the stud parts facing downwards, right? So they attach to the launcher, right? And you can launch them, right? But for these ones, the studs are facing upwards, so they need this. So it's pretty simple, just take it off, and then put it on. And then... So yeah, this is probably my favorite part about the set. Alright then.
and there you have it guys this was my omega customized kit right so this wasn't that hard it was sort of hard to make i already had the bays ready and i just had to make this i just had to make the drivers and the uh container as well as the launcher i had to destroy my um my sword launcher to make this but well i got an lr launcher return so i guess it was pretty good anyways like i said before this was my customized kit make sure to like and subscribe and spark instructions out